Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skeleton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step writing research article using meta analysis topic with the help of comprehensive meta analysis software. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, my topic is the impact of inflation on economic growth, implementation of meta analysis. And this is a sample. You can use your own title, own research domain to do a meta analysis. The procedure is the same. In this video, I'm going to share with you the comprehensive meta analysis software technique. Next video, I'm going to share the startup and then R programming. So be with me for the next couple of videos. Okay. So this video, the first thing is selecting the article, selecting the title. The impact of inflation on economic growth. That is my title. Okay. And implementation of meta-analysis. So the first thing in the article, we need the introduction. Okay. Now in the introduction, it should be research problem or research gap, research question should be coming up front in your introduction. For instance, it says inflation has been a topic of extensive research in economies, particularly its impact on economic growth. Various studies have been negative relationship between inflation and economic growth likewise. Now, you may take the help from AI to formulate your research problem and research question. In my previous video, I have shared several good AI tools for your convenience to write your research article with the help of those AI tools. One of the AI tools is called the Texturio.ai. So if I go to the Texturio.ai, this will write your research article content without plagiarization. Okay, it's very interesting. I can use chat GPT, but it gives me plagiarization AI content. I need something, no plagiarization. Okay, so I go and start writing for free. There is an option called free. You go and write your article, especially for the introduction part, especially for your research problem part with the help of this AI for free. You do not need to pay anything. Okay, and up until 1000 words is free. Beyond that, you need to pay. But I think 1000 words for your research introduction is sufficient. All you have to do, write your title here, Impact of Inflation on Economic Growth, Implementation of Meta Analysis, and then write a description. What things that you need, for example, theoretical perspective, research question, research problem, you can write down in the description box. Okay. Once you write it, you just press continue and the AI will do the rest. Once you finish your AI help, the AI will formulate the research introduction like this. For instance, relationship between inflation and economic growth. How does the inflation affect different sectors of the economy? The AI write it down for me. You can do the same. And there are other AI tools which I have mentioned in my previous video. Please have a look. Okay. Theoretical perspective of the impact of inflation and economic growth. So up until now, that is my requirement and I took the help from the textstudio.ai to formulate my introduction. So my introduction and my research problem and theoretical background is done. Now the next one is my literature review. In order to do my literature review, I have to collect some articles and the articles I, have, I can collect from Google Scholar, PubMed, EconLead, Web of Science, Scopus database. And for my research, I have collected several articles likewise from 2010 to 2022 this is my inclusion criteria to collect the articles and all these articles are listed over here i need a tool called zotero for my referencing zotero is a fantastic tool for referencing managing software it's a free completely open source and i have a video on zotero you can have a look at one as well so you see here that the meta analysis uh, the, uh, folder i have created and i just have to click all copy all this information and drag it to my folder of Zotero. It's very easy. You just have to create a folder by clicking this one and by renaming like meta analysis. Okay. And then it will be like this and drag all this information to your Zotero folder. Okay. That's it. And open remain open this software. Another one you need is called a Zotero extension. And you can download this extension for Word document from Zotero website and install it to your Word file or Word. Okay. Once you done it, you can see the add citation and add bibliography option will automatically come. So you start your literature review. 
Now there is another software or platform called the SciSpace Literature Review. You can take help from the SciSpace Literature Review. All you have to do, click or upload your article and the SciSpace will summarize your article very easily. I have several videos on SciSpace in my channel. You can have a look. But you can use SciSpace Literature Review for summarizing your article. So by using the Zotero and the SciSpace, I can write a literature review. For instance, I want to add a citation over here. All I have to do, add citation, there will be a box coming up, okay? And then if I say inflation, you see several articles are suggesting. I may want to use this article for in-text citation, enter, and it will add it here, Divino 2018. So likewise, you add your in-text citations by taking help from the Zotero, clear? Now, once you finish your literature review, then comes one of the important part called the results and discussion. Now, before results and discussion, you need to explain what are the data you are using for this study, okay, or for this research article. For description of the data for your research paper on meta-analysis, in my case, study ID, coefficient, standard error t statistics p value sample size these are the information i need to calculate my effect size okay so methodology for conducting meta analysis is systematic review on inflation growth that is my methodology part okay and then i write there are several steps that i should follow to formulate my methodology step one research question formulation then step two literature search strategy i have used pubmed econly research question formulation i took the help from the text studio ai to formulate my research problem as i told you then inclusion and exclusion criteria inclusion criteria 2010 to 2022 my articles exclusion i did not add any newspaper article so that is my exclusion criteria there are maybe other exclusion and inclusion criteria you can add here as well data extraction uh, data synthesize interpretation of results so that is your overall methodology now comes your results and discussion part so my overall effect size is correlation coffin 0.02 and how do i find this one now i need the excel sheet this is my excel sheet in this excel sheet i listed down the study names coefficient corresponding values for example if there is a regression analysis so i took every single variables coefficients they are corresponding standard error t statistics p value and the number of observations t number of years and sample size now for instance one of the article i can share here let's say this is the article research on the influence of digital economy one of the table regression results of digital economy to technology innovation you see in the bracket it gives me standard error and the strict side 58.913 is my t statistics and the above one is my P values okay so my t statistics standard error is given another example i can give you from this article the shorthand regression results you see the standard error is given here t statistics is given here r square given here so the t statistics standard error from different article you need to collect and you can list it over here standard error t statistics p value now you may ask doctor why i am giving 2001 uh, ricardo several times because there are two variables, two independent variables. So two T statistics, two standard error, two P values. And therefore there are two times coming Ricardo and Ricardo. Clear? That is the reason why there are two times repetition coming in the study names. Okay. So once I design all the data set like this way in my Excel file. Okay. I open the comprehensive meta-analysis software. In my previous video, I shared how to use comprehensive meta-analysis software. You can download it for free. I can give you the link in my video description box. In this opening of the comprehensive meta-analysis software, you just go to the insert, column name, study name. Click this one, the study name column will appear. And then you see I put ID1, ID2, ID3. Why? Because the corresponding informations are coming repeatedly, like 2001, Ricardo, Ricardo, right? in my excel file i shared with you right over here right so the comprehensive meta-analysis won't understand the uh, repeated times article names and that's why i give a unique id for each study no matter how how many times it comes so id 1 id 2 id 3 id 4 is a convenience for meta-analysis in the software comprehensive meta-analysis software okay 
Now you can see that I already designed the study names. Then you go to the again insert column FX size calculation. If you click the FX size, there are several FX size count. For example, dictonomous continuous correlation. You see, if you want to calculate the Fisher Z or correlation and T value, so these are the computed FX sizes. How to calculate the FX sizes? So here I need T value and sample size for my correlation FX size calculation. T value and sample size for my correlation FX size. You may need P value and sample size. If you have this, if you have that data, you can use this P value and sample size to calculate your correlation FX size. You can calculate the Fisher's Z and sample size for your FX size calculation. So there are several FX size options given in the Met comprehensive meta analysis software. Okay, so all I have to do now, I need only T value and sample size. So I click this one, the T value and sample size come up. I can just go and copy my standard error T value and my sample size, copy it and paste it over here. Okay, and that will finish my column information, T value and sample size information in the comprehensive meta analysis software. Okay, done. And then these information are not required because this is just the Excel file information. I am calculating the correlation as my FX size using T value and sample size as my indicators from different studies. Now I go to analyze, run the analyze and the comprehensive meta analysis software will calculate the correlation FX size very easily. Once I have done it, I copy the whole thing. I go to the paper and write down overall FX size is 0 0.02. So I can say that the overall effect size is very weak or small in number because it is only 0 0.02. Finish your correlation coefficient uh, FX size calculation done. Now you can use forest plot and your funnel plot. For that reason, you can go to the R tutor. There is a complete free AI tool where you can upload your data. Once you upload your data in this box, you can write, I need forest plot and funnel plot calculation or diagram. This AI will help you to generate those two diagrams just like this. So you have forest plot and funnel plot. You explain forest plot and funnel plot. Funnel plot normally used for publication bias, which I already explained in my previous videos. So once you have done it, you write your conclusion. And once you write your conclusion, you go down to the referencing section and you see add bibliography. Click the add bibliography option under Zotero add in it will give you the list of the bibliography in your referencing section. And this is how you can write step by step a research article using meta-analysis topic and data using different softwares to complete a research article writing. And once you finish it, now it is good to submit to a good journal. Journal may give you feedback. You take the feedback, design and correct your feedback according to the reviewer's comment and submit pretty sure you will publish a very good Scopus Index Journal publication if you follow my steps likewise. Thank you so much my dear learners. I hope this video is useful for you. In the next tutorial I will share the meta-analysis software, meta-analysis software using Stata, R and different other topics in meta-analysis in quick time. So until then, take care of yourself. Thank you.